Masaka district is one of the areas most prone to land evictions. For nearly 15 years now, many tenants and squatters in these areas continue suffering at the hands of the purported landlords and investors who have forcefully evicted them several times. Kavuma Frugensio, Yajjana Punta, Etaka Saidi Mangeri, Galaganti, Etaka Erio, Arina Kyo Echapa. These tenants and residents of Ukoto Centre in Masaka District are now living in suspense after receiving notices of eviction. <laughs> Lance Minister Judith Nawakoba has now been brought to attention of this matter. <laughs> Although some tenants are willing to have a common understanding with the landlords, many have decried forceful agreements. Fetusaba Minister at Yambi and Yigirize Abe Gombolola Soloku take a yo or a soul, Soloku Tula, Mayo Landi, Mamirembe. By virtue of the powers vested in her as the lands minister, Navakoba has halted any unlawful activity on the contested land. No eviction of any person. Ugandans can pay nominal fee depending on the rates that were put up by the districts. If not, somebody who has worked so hard can buy themselves out or they can be bought. But what I have seen, most people are willing to pay busulu. So I have emphasized the payment of busulu, which should be taken as a priority because that's what people can afford as of now. The landlords should be willing to collect their busulu annually. She has also interested herself in boundary opening. For the public land, I directed the process of acquiring titles should be investigated. If there, were, if there is any process that was skipped, then that means that the titles will automatically be cancelled on public land. Many have blamed the current predicament on the current weak land laws, whereas others believe it is a matter of demand versus money. Robert Nyango, UBC News.